Okay, we're going to work on a car today, but there's one thing you need to do before you work on your car. You need to protect the surfaces. So what we have here is shrink wrap. Two different types, and you have scotch delicate surface tape, gentle removal. Kind of use it along the edges, but anyway, this is what you have. What we're going to do is we're going to work on this. So first of all, we want to protect the fenders on both sides, and we want to protect the front end, because we're going to be working over the front of it, and that way you don't scratch surfaces or anything else. Okay, when you're using shrink wrap, neatness is not part of the game, okay? I'm just trying to put it on here. So you kind of pat it down as you go. You need to kind of make a turn, wad it up. Take it slow. No gets there. Doesn't look like it wants to stick to the plastic too much. But it does stick to the body. The one thing I found, knives don't work on this stuff that well. Actually, nothing works well when you're cutting it. So you got to kind of cut your scissors and try to avoid hitting the scissors on the paint. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It takes some time. But you'll be glad you did it later. Especially if you get a scratch in your car. And obviously this stuff isn't wide enough to do the whole car. I mean the whole front end in one sheet. So Kind of work your way around. Kind of work it so you can overlap it. You don't get bad seams or a scratch right at the seam. Keep it tight, a pair of scissors will take it right down. Now you get to find out what the tape's for. You're going to need your tape for. Tape the edges. That way it's not coming off. Since it doesn't stick like the stick to plastic, put some across here too. Now your front end of your car is protected from whatever you work on it with. When you're working on a car like this, if you're going to take parts off, you can do the same thing. So I know like the grill comes out of here, so you can like slit this or take, you know, and take the grill out. You can take the whole bumper off and just leave the stuff on. Anything that's not your way. I mean, you got to take out the grills and everything to get the bumper off, but you can leave this stuff. So you can just take a small blade and trim it, just like you would vinyl wrap, okay? 
then you can pull the whole bumper off and it's always protected. Those are my thoughts. This is what I do. You don't have to. Have a good day.